Hey guys, Vishnu here, and today we're going to be making the smart mirror for under $100 that'll be able to tell you exactly what's going on in your day so you can be prepared for it. I started by going to Home Depot and picking up some pieces of wood that you'll see later in the video. I also picked up some screws and some varnish. Next I bought a monitor on Amazon from Spectre. It was around 19 inches. I used a putty knife to take off the bezel and a flathead screwdriver to take everything apart in the end. I then took off the backing of the monitor and then secured all the electronics securely on the front of the monitor. I then used tape to tape it all up so it would all be secure at the end. Next I prepared my mirror itself. I bought a piece of two-way mirror film from Amazon and I started by preparing it by taking off the film. Next I cleaned up a piece of glass I bought from Home Depot and then I sprayed both the surface down with soap and water as per my manufacturer's instructions. Again this may vary for your mirror. The two-way mirror film is used to be able to see the monitor from the inside, but also be able to see yourself reflecting on the outside. I used a knife to cut off the excess, and then I used a putty knife they gave me to smooth down the mirror film. While I finish this up, we can talk about today's sponsor, UI Kit Desks. Their elf shape makes them one of the most ergonomic desks out there, and being able to go between two different tasks is really useful. Plus, the construction is all metal on the bottom and wood on top, which feels really premium and is really useful. On top of that, UIKit is offering 30 free desks to my fans, so if you're interested, drop a comment below on why you think you need the desk and why you like my channel the best. Next, I measured and marked the pieces of wood I needed for the frame of this build. I already pre-varnished some of my pieces because I wanted to see how it looked. I used my miter saw station to cut it down. Sorry about my setup, I was inside and it was super cold outside, so I had to make a temporary station inside. Next, I marked and pre-drilled holes for each of my drywall screws. I then screwed it in using a drill. You want to be careful not to split the wood, because if you do, you have to go back and redo all of it. Make sure you, you screw it in the right orientation, or else it might not go on top of your frame. Next, it was time for the furnishing frame. I used a piece of furnishing lace that I found at Home Depot, and I cut 45 degree angle miters into them. Then, I used my nail gun to put it all together. If you don't have a nail gun, you can also use screws, or you can use glue. I then nailed it onto my frame, and I was done. I put my piece of glass in to see if it fit, and shebang, it all worked perfectly. I used some spared 1x4s I have left to make some angle pieces that keep the piece of glass inside the frame. If not, the glass would just fall out the back. I then made a small monitor mount using some leftover pieces of pine 1x4s and some hot glue. I used the vase on mounting holes that my monitor had to screw it into the pine 1x4. I used drywall screws to put it all together. Next, it was time to mount the foam panels on the back to help keep the black thing in and also to mount the electronics. I mounted a Raspberry Pi and the power cords for each of the monitors and secured it all up. I drilled a small hole in the frame so I could run the wire through with no issues. The rest of our magic mirror setup can be done from our computer, so hop on over and we can get building. The programming part of this project gets a little terminal intensive, so I'm going to leave all of that in the project page in the description below, so check that out for more information. To find out where I wanted to mount my cleat to hold my mirror up, I first used a stud finder on the wall where I wanted to mount my mirror and found the studs uh, and where they were. Next, I cut a small cleat out of a leftover pine 1x4 and I secured it to the wall using two 4 inch screws. After that, I stuck the whole mirror on top of the cleats and then used two 4 inch screws from the very top to drive it down into the cleat. That way my mirror would stay secure on the wall. And with that, you can start checking yourself out in the morning. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, then give me a thumbs. If you loved it, give me a sub. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace!